hey thank you so much for clicking on this video i just have some pieces that i have to finish off on my giant rug board that is finally complete i'm trying out some new spray adhesive glue and i thought i'd just bring you guys along on a little vlog chill come hang out with me style video i'm just gonna jump right into it finish off these rugs and just hang out a little bit <laughs> If you saw my last video about trying out my tufting gun for the first time, then you've already seen these pieces. But this is the board that I have completed. I'm so excited about these punch needle pieces. And then this one is a fail. I really don't want to fix that, so we're just going to leave that. I just have these little details here and here to finish on the punch needle pieces and that in there. So I'm just going to finish off those little details. Also, this is the glue. Using. This isn't my favorite as it kind of has a smell to it, but it's the easiest one for me to get my hands on without having to order online. This works good enough, and I will show you the step-by-step -step when I get to that point, but I also bought this spray adhesive. I feel like this is gonna work better once I put this glue on and let it set, put a layer of this on, put the felt backing on. That should make the rug super secure. Step one, I'm just gonna show the little details in the top half, and then we'll get to backing it. down, two to go. I hate how much longer the punch needle takes, but it just looks so much cleaner, so I'm so excited. The rugs are officially complete. I'm really worried about this part because I have to fill that in with the fire colors, but there's already so many holes that I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna bother even finishing these pieces. I need more practice. My next video, I'm gonna try it out on better cloth for the gun and hopefully that goes smoothly and just focus on these beauties and get these all backed up. I definitely have some more plans of punch needle. I just love how clean and beautiful this looks compared to the mess that that is. So now that my rugs are fully complete, put a really good even layer over this entire thing. I used to use a little paint spatula to do it, but honestly I found that quite annoying. I very much prefer using just gloves. This first step of adhesive is just to make sure that all these loops stay on tight. So when we do put on the backing, there is no chance that anything's going anywhere. We're gonna take this guy, put an even layer over this whole thing, and then we're gonna let them sit for a good hour. Now we are gonna let that sit and dry to really hold on there and come back in a little bit. pieces are cut out, all I'm doing is taking my scissors and creating little slits. I would also recommend gloves for this part, and I'm just going to start bending all the edges down. Everything is officially folded down, all the edges. So next, I am taking some spray glue. I'm just trying out the Gorilla Glue adhesive. Now I just put a good layer, and especially around the sides, to make sure everything stays down tight. I've never used this before, and I feel like it's probably dangerous to do in my house, but I'm doing it in my house. It's hard to see. Okay, we're just gonna try it. Now I'm just gonna take my big felt piece and place it right over. And then I just start pushing down all the corners. This is where you can start trying to make it flat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so excited for this project. So then I just do a rough cut. We're gonna finish the other two.
So I put the backing on. This is my first time trying out the glue and I definitely had some issues with it. It was very hard to see what I was doing. I didn't get all the corners down super tight, so I'm gonna have to go over. I'll show you the glue that I use for that. I'm going to take my shears and trim the rug down. Since I ended up letting the glue dry for a lot longer than I was expecting, it is now, it is past midnight and I'm still doing this. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat my snacks and get back to this in the morning. <laughs> but I am loving them so far. So I just did a quick shear of the entire rug. As I showed, using the vacuum is super handy for cleaning up all the little yarn. I'm now gonna go in to all these details and clean up all the lines. That is the last step. Oh my, we are officially done. <laughs> These are my finished rugs. I'm very excited about them. As always, I feel like my famous words, this took way longer than I was expecting. We have the lit. As you can see on this one, I really took the time to go into the detail around the letters to clean it out. And it looks awesome. I did some of the lines like up here looks super clean, but the, with the detail and shaving everything down, this took so long that I just don't have the patience to do this entire thing. And I'm still digging how the letters kind of pop, but. I think the rest looks awesome. We love her. We have ah, uh, this beautiful baby. Again, I also spent a lot of time with the detail on the lettering after giving the whole rug a good sheer down. I really love how these have turned out. And last but not least, we have 420. This guy, I did get a little bit lazy, as you can tell not clean up the edges of the lettering numbers, I guess. <laughs> I still really like how this turned out. And for finishing off the back, I just went in with the tacky glue, just an all-purpose craft glue, and just went around the edges again. I like to let it dry under something hard or just something flat that you can sit on top to help it dry and to make the rug lay straight while it is drying. I'll put some videos at the end of a close-up of all these pieces, but I'm glad to be finally over this project and onto my next board that I already have in the works that will be coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always I will see you next time. Peace!